a focus on your packaging of the product. Uh, I also think it's a bonus point if you have like this packaging of your product with the, for instance, German text on it, not English one. Because all, all around Europe, people think that everybody speaks English, but that's like uh, every other person actually speaks English. So you're basically targeting half of the market. But if you like put like on the packaging and, uh, you know, the Europe Lister original packaging, if you put like in German or Italian or Japanese, I think that's going to be very appealing to customers. I think it's just more of a branding thing than a sales thing. It's more of a, I feel good after the fact about my purchase. And I might be that much more willing to share to my friends about my purchase opposed to why they buy in the first place. And so I think packaging is more helpful for say like repeat buys and individual buys. Back in the day from a friend of mine. So he's like very, very uh, passionate when it comes to design and packaging and so on. So I don't know if it's rare or not, but when I heard it, I loved it. He actually had an insert in the, inside the packaging, but in order to find the insert, you needed to follow a path in the packaging. So it was like a game. And then you could scan a QR code and go somewhere else. He didn't have, you know, the best conversion rates of all, but the clients that he got back, they, all of them replied like, you had the greatest packaging ever we've ever seen. And they became clients for life. So I think that Something like that is a very clever way, and I've never seen it, even in the retail stores, you know, to have actual a game inside your own uh, packaging, let's say.